we proceed with our service, we'd like you to get some short testimonies if you're so inclined that in between the service of the emblems, you'll be able to share your testimonies of thanksgiving, of what the Lord has done for you. We'd also like you to take the time now to secure in your pocketbooks that which you will be giving to assist the Benevolent Fund. We never know when it will be our turn. And I think it's always wise for us at this time and at each of these services that we will be able to give a special gift that will be collected at the end of the service with a closing hymn. So now as we enter into this sacred time together, let us sing number 307, I'm Coming to the Cross. Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 26 for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. Praise be to God. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we bow before your throne of grace this early afternoon in the only name worthy by which you could be approached, in the name of Jesus. 
He, O oh Father God, who shed his blood on Calvary's cross. He whom we are remembering in this communion service. Help us, O oh Father God, reverently not to lose the significance of these services mm -hmm. as the Pharisees of old, whom when Christ was on the cross, they was there celebrating the Passover. Yet to them, there was no significance therein. And so, Father God, as we partake of the emblems of your broken body and spilled blood, help us, O oh Father God, to realize what is taking place in heaven even now. Provision is, ab is about to close, and we want to be ready. Yes. So as we partake of this communion service, the greatest need that we have is a revival. Please revive your, your church. Grant us victory of our besetting sins, O oh Father. Let not self exalt itself among us, but let Jesus Christ reign upon the throne of our hearts, yes. and let your character will be reproduced in us. Indeed, then you will come. So thank you, Lord, for allowing us to partake of this divine service again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We'll take time for a few testimonies now. Who will be the first? Josiah, I can see your hand. <laughs> Just Josiah, ladies before gentlemen, so we let Sister Flo go first. That's a good lesson to learn. Thank you. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you, Sister Flo. Thank you. Josiah? Thank you, Josiah. Amen. Howard, we will continue with the other testimonies at the serving of the wine. So you'll be the first afterwards. Has everyone been served? all of it. Amen. Continue on now with our testimonies, Howard. You may.
Thank you, Sister Pinnock. Dion? Amen. Sister Babylon and then Sister Lewis. Sister Lewis, before I ask you to stand up, uh, we have others to serve. Okay. I'm using this mic because I don't have a loud voice. So I just want to give God thanks for my spirit life and for all that I've gone through because I was diagnosed 2011, 2012 with multiple myeloma. And the span for that, they tell me, is five years. So I got to give God thanks. Yeah. This is my sixth year. So I'm asking that you continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for the church. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Lewis. We'll suspend now our testimonies. Has everyone been served? The old story so blessed Of Jesus who say Whosoever will have A home in the haven of rest I've anchored my soul I'm safe
Drink ye all of it. Amen. The Bible tells us, and they sung a hymn, and they went into the Mount of Olives. We will do the same, and I'd like you to be reminded now of that special offering that we will be collecting for our benevolent fund. And so that will be done as the final hymn will be sung and as the table will be covered. So let us stand now as we sing our final hymn, number 316, Live Out Thy Life Within Me. Live out thy life within me, for Jesus, King of Kings, be thou thyself so much for this service. We thank you, Father, for all that it reminds us of. And we thank you also, Father, for the generosity of your people. Continue, Father, to help us to bless others as you have blessed us. And now that we have sung that the temple has been cleansed and purified, help us, Father, to live complete lives for you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.